Nee, nee, alles gut. Machen wir erstmal klein. Okay. Okay, so. Ach so, äh, wir live. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, we are live already. I uh, just noticed. So, um, yeah, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to the first Backgammon Festival in Aachen. Uh, coming up, an exciting semi-final, undefeated semi-final match between Marta Jelset and Oliver Squire. Uh, before I continue in English, I will briefly address the German-speaking community. So uh, don't uh, uh, worry that I switch to German now. I'll be back in English in a moment. Um, yeah, Tag zusammen. Um, wir hatten ur ursprünglich mal geplant, äh, den Stream auf Deutsch zu machen, aber da es jetzt so eine internationale Paarung ist, haben wir uns äh, tatsächlich umentschieden und diesen auf Englisch zu machen. Es wird andere Streams auf Deutsch geben, äh, um das so ein bisschen durchzumischen. Es gab gestern auch schon einen und äh, wir werden dann auch versuchen, auch äh, deutsche Spieler äh, dann auch äh, im, im Stream zu haben, aber jetzt äh, dieses äh, Halbfinale, das hat sich einfach angeboten, das hier zu nehmen und äh, macht auch mehr Sinn, das auf Englisch zu machen. Also es gibt auf alle Fälle noch ganz viel deutschen Content äh, und ne, das tut mir ein bisschen leid, wenn das vorher vielleicht falsch so durchgekommen ist oder und äh, ja, jetzt gehe ich aber auch wieder auf die englische Variante und ja, bis dahin, ich hoffe, die meisten von euch können das verstehen und Now I'm back in English, so uh, we will have a look. Uh, first of all, I, I'm happy to announce uh, my that I have found a great co-commentator, uh, the one and only Rainer Birkle, the Anki Man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now that you have seen enough of us, I suppose uh, let's uh, just switch to the players. They already arrived. Uh, a bit, a little bit cut off uh, their heads. Yeah, so maybe I, I can fix this. Line. Yeah, so we will. They haven't started yet, so. But we, most of you guys know who Oliver. Oliver is, is uh, even without without uh, seeing half his face, but it's just not so nice. So, I was told they're about to start in a, in a few minutes, and uh, another. Big advantage uh, uh, to have uh, Rainer by my side. Uh, he is also the tech guy here, so he knows how to fix uh, these little problems. So, yeah, now we are doing really good. And yeah. Yeah, but, but the real tech guy in honor goes, of course, to Mate Feo. <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit OBS stuff here, though. I'm yeah, it's more tech guy. And... Don't be too modest. <laughs> I mean, without you, everything will fall apart. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, everybody. Jack says hi to me. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to the commentary. I'm looking forward to it, too. Uh, and some of course, others. greetings to Switzerland, Mrs. Bubbles. Yeah. Grüße. We'll see. And, and you can see the players, uh, or at least Marta, is also suffering from the heat here in Aachen. Uh, unfortunately, unlike the tournament room, there is no air condition in this part of the building. So we're also sitting here. I'm already starting to sweat uh, without <laughs> any action going on. So, but uh, so I'm glad that you can't see me anymore, to be honest. So what do we expect? Uh, um, yeah, Marta uh, has been around for a long time. Uh, she told me she had a 10 years break from backgammon, uh, but very experienced and also very successful. She became fourth in last year's, or third or fourth in last year's world championship. So very strong player from Norway. And Oliver, of course, most of uh, you know him, super strong player from the UK, uh, next generation player, uh, and very successful, winning, 
I don't know how many super jackpots he won, Monte Carlo included. So this is actually a standard reference position. If somebody dances, this would be if uh, Marta had danced, it would, would have been already a cube, a double take, that is. And uh, this, yeah, this is a, a very interesting choice because usually when you can duplicate fours, you 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 slot your five point even though it's generally not uh, recommended to slot and split so more this against is, the five double five uh, blitzes oh it's yeah. more common um so i um, mata took the prudent route uh i think that was mine she's gonna make her four point getting some structure and Oliver, of course, has an advantage, but uh, not enough to cube yet. So Marta really wants to split her back checkers against that priming structure. And uh, we have a comment from, from Jack. Yeah, there was some shift. I noticed that the board is not uh, perfectly in the center right now. Yeah, we can also try. Okay, uh, Rainer is... Uh, Trying to fix it immediately. So, so now uh, Oliver has escaped his back checkers, and this is certainly a cube. And I probably would path, pass it because uh, it's a prime and strong counterplay. Uh, I'm not so sure. What will happen is that the black will now. Uh, spread out more builders to make uh, more uh, more points especially the the four point and then it's basically reduced to to a one point game so i have a rule of thumb uh, when you uh, when the best when it seems that the best that you can achieve in a position is a mediocre holding game if that's the good scenario like it is here uh, you it's it's probably a pass, so I would have dropped that cube. And maybe regarding uh, the question of Mrs. Bubbles, no, we have no XG feed here. And, uh, uh, but anyway, we can, uh, the, the viewers can help and either live transcribe or send us the result of some yeah. positions, but we, we cannot do it here yeah. at the moment. Sorry, it would of course be a nice uh -huh. addition, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I personally prefer an XG feed However, not immediately to not bias the commentator. Uh, so uh, I like it when it when it comes like with a five ten seconds delay, so so that you guys immediately know when I'm talking nonsense. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately here it was not possible. So for deciding to take how how do you count gammons? Yeah, that's experience. How do you actually have to know reference positions? I have a couple of reference positions where I know the gammon rates and then infer to other positions. So that's the way. I mean, there's no way of, at least not for me, to calculating gammons. Yeah, and you, it, you have just to practice this, no? start, yeah. get, start guessing uh, winning rates and gammon rates. Yeah. and. Uh, yeah. A small plug here for, for DX book in theory of becoming he also has some variable advice how yeah. to do that. Uh, I can give that right back. Uh, the perfect <laughs> tool to study these uh, Anki cards. But you can also, what I usually do or what I did to practice is just uh, positions that I found interesting before I look at the results. I write down what I think, how many gammons you win, you lose and winning percentage and see how far I'm off. Yeah. So that is lets you also identify the position types where you are really off, and uh, but uh, there's no, I I don't know any other method but uh, trying and studying and guessing. And it's and pretty normal that you will be off by far. When you start doing this, I think it's more or less random, and then you are narrowing yeah, down yeah. and get better and better. At it. Yeah. So that is forced. Um, yeah. Now that's the most likely scenario happened here uh, an ace point game for Marta um, and now that she crunches uh, basically 
she uh, she wants to avoid getting gammoned here. So when you have a strong position, a front position, when you still have hopes uh, that you can sneak out a win with an ace point game, because you you are pretty likely to get a shot, but uh, this is looking really really bad, and it's not getting better. So and greetings to Mariano. Yeah. In the chat, uh, played two matches recently, and both times she played very very well. And in Stockholm, she outplayed me huge and won the match. And here, at he outplayed me again, and I was lucky enough to win anyway. That's backgammon, we all know that. And he has more recent uh, results, uh, so all watch uh, Mariana's yeah, development uh, is quite promising, I think. Yeah, but at least you see the good side of it. You uh, uh, Compared to Stockholm, you caught up a bit to her. So the I, did it, <laughs> I, 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 I cut my PR more than in half, so, oh, so. but no more so. details here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Martha hasn't been able to jump out. Uh, still, she has pretty good chances of saving the gammon, but uh, gotta hop out quickly. 5 1, so we have a shot coming up. 5 is forced, and I think, uh, yeah, you play it from the back, clear from the rear. <clears throat> and also <clears throat> you are really safe once when you get missed after you get missed but uh, Marta got lucky hit the shot and now the containment fund we all love <laughs> yeah let's see if if she manages to repeatedly hit the Oliver's checker then there's still some equity left for her like uh, Oliver's five checkers off right I would advance with the ace despite the 6 5 hitting. You have to come closer to home. Or uh, do you yeah, think? I think so, yeah. I mean, usually that's. Ah, okay, we, we just got the information. It was a take plunder. Uh, yeah, I suspected that kind of, uh, that this wasn't promising enough uh, to take. And also, greetings to Tudor. Ah, yeah. Good to Hi, Tudor. Here. Hi, Tudor. I hope I pronounced your name at least decently well. Mm -hmm. So now the question is, this is a very difficult, the most difficult role that you could have found because she has all options, all yeah. distances. Usually they say when you, when the one checker side doesn't have any spare numbers to play, 11 is the best distance, but when you... Uh, That's a 12, right? Is this uh, a yeah. master secret? It's 11? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I read in some Roberti book uh, like uh, 32 years ago. So, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not so 12. sure. Yeah, 12. But uh, um, uh, there's one uh, thing uh, that... Uh, uh, Oliver is playing, is able to play high numbers also inside his board, so he's yeah. not forced to come too close. Yeah. So that usually means Same things. Uh, white should come a little bit closer. I think that's perfectly fine. That's 12 and 11, and there's the 6 5. So that's and yeah. still a four point board. Still a four point board. So uh, now Gammon Danger is again very real. Ah, good point. Double yeah, six, left a double. Yeah, that, that's that's a very good observation. So you definitely want to have to the twelve distance here to get the double shot and double sixes. So now it's run mata run, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> we will make it. Um, so so far we have the Norwegian community supporting Marta. Do we have anybody here from the UK and? support for uh, Oliver. Of course, we are neutral as commentators. We just want to have some sure. interesting action. Uh, OK, so that looks pretty promising, the save. Uh, double threes doesn't, it's a, it's a good roll, but uh, Oliver will need double deuces or higher. Uh, no, close. So, so two nothing lead. Uh, yeah, bad take. Got 
punished by an extra point loss, but at least not the biggest disaster happened, the gamma loss. And actually the problem with the take here, talking about gammons, um, it wasn't a very high gammon position. Uh, however, it was also a very low winning position. So if I had to guess, I, I wouldn't uh, have estimated her wins above 25% or something in that position. Anything. I missed the double because I was... I, I, you, you, were, you, were, you were doing the important work. Okay, so... Double deuces, I think against 4-3. Don't you step up uh, to the 22 and not make the 11? I mean, I just missed that. Four three. So this is interesting. You really want to split your back checkers here. I mean, at least one. But uh, since he has eleven checkers in the zone, I perfectly can understand Marta's play. So you have to judge your priming chances. Well, yeah. The priming chances. Uh, yeah. I I I found the. the a little bit of an overplay, but uh, mm -hmm. I, I think I would have moved my back checkers. Okay, so she gets hit. Uh, that's uh, three in. Hit back with the ace. Yep. Five, six, another good number. Uh, probably hitting two. Yes. Uh, three is good. Six, not so much, but nothing has happened basically with regard to a potential cube. I think uh, Oliver should continue hitting. So that protects uh, the checker on the 20 point from attack. Also brings the checkers from the six into play and keeps uh, Oliver in the driver's seat. So 6-1 is really bad. <laughs> Horrible roll. Um, now, I mean, you really would like to hit something here. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, I mean, I, <laughs> probably, maybe six. <laughs> you had to play the six, so we, what about 13-7, seven, 6-5, seven, or is even, 6 5, 24 18. Is that a bit too rich? Uh, making, making the deuce board or Ma anything looks ugly to me. Yeah, I, I think you really can't let her make the five point. Yeah, I think six to five would be yeah. well, 18, keep, no. yeah, 18 or seven. 18 does it give any additional numbers that gives them more double hitters? So mm -hmm. the double hitters are really. So maybe it's even 13-7 because uh, that, oh, this is with four checkers back. I think this is a bit too aggressive against the prime. And I mean, and she gave it very quickly. I mean, that was so, so yeah. it's always like about time management. I'm really, uh, everybody has a different approach to the game. And certainly before cubing this, I would have <laughs> uh, thought about it. Maybe I would have come to the same conclusion. However, I think with so many men back behind the priming structure, I mean, she rolled a joker, yes. Okay, let's concentrate on the double fours. Okay. Okay, so we have some responses. Uh, everybody really liked the cube, no matter what XG. So, but uh, if somebody uh, wants to give us the XG result, uh, just because it matters a bit, I think. Just to have another opinion, so a uh, great shot by Oliver, responding uh, to her joker in kind. Yeah. And now this is really coming down to uh, whether he can roll, produce. Yes, another five, so great shot for him. Uh, because now uh, Marta, of course, is running out of checkers to keep uh, the attack going. So she has to switch to a priming strategy. And that was a great shot, actually, because it made the best anchor and the point that she really was hoping to make so five point anchor as well so and now yeah to make it clear the doubling decision it did not look like a position where i have doubts that xg is 
doing very well there. So yeah, I, it's a tactical. It matters position. a lot to me what the XG plus uh, yeah, plus. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's a very tactical position. So XG can run through all the possible sequences and estimate the equities, which we cannot, of course. So I think this is a position where XG certainly has a big advantage over human players. But anyway, um, so five two. Um, so you really would like, I mean, I think making the three is kind of mandatory with the five or is there any other reasonable five? And then open it. No, we can try. Open it looks, looks just, just giving up the eight. And uh, that's so. really difficult. Seven to five looks, I mean, it's great when it works. More checkers you have back, the more it's important that you use your few checkers in the front very well, efficiently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It looks too stiff to me, but oh. um, and that's that's uh, that's really a tough decision. I mean, you have some duplication force are duplicated for hitting check. So yeah, he takes the prudent, uh, the safer approach because uh, that he has a. Against four, five checkers, it's a pretty good priming structure. A reasonable one, at least. Double five. So now he has to step out. I mean, he <clears throat> it's not so dangerous to abandon uh, the 20 anchor, even though he really yeah, would have smart. liked to kept it, to keep it, simply because Marta doesn't have uh, that much material to to improve her qu prime quickly if she doesn't roll a joker. So certainly the best move to go to the 20 and remake the eight. And um, Mata has trouble uh, problems of her own with four checkers against a priming structure. So I think it, does she really need these checkers on the ace? Well, what what else can she? Play. And this looks problem here is usually she has to break a valuable point to cover the slot, uh, oh. even if she gets missed. So, yeah, uh, she has to plan should be probably to to run out with one of her back checkers yeah. and uh, fight for the outfield because really the, the checkers on the twenty four are in a, in a bad spot. So I see gammon chances of 23%, Jack says, so that was probably when the cube was given, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, that doesn't tell us anything about the uh, cube action. I felt that Oliver's winning chances were for sure in the close to 40 range. I mean, I might be off here, of course. But usually you aren't. You think so? <laughs> uh, okay, um, that was the other cube action where, where uh, uh, twenty three. So they were, um, yeah. According to the book, that's what I call moderately increased gamma chances. I think mm -hmm. it's not super high, but of course, you need at least uh, like something like thirty percent winning chances to compensate for that. I mean, just. Not did a calculation here, but just was well, depends also on how many games you win yourself. So what is going on here? Did you pay attention to? Is there a cube I action? Uh, Oliver is uh, considering you a, a recube. Re yeah, actually, one thing. I mean, the position looks kind of good, but with recubes and a two nothing lead to thirteen, you all also already have to be much more conservative really much more conservative than at zero zero, for example. So I think he made the correct decision not to recube. And as long as Marta uh, keeps her front structure and two anchors, um, she's doing fine. So I personally, I, because this is a position uh, where White certainly has a high winning percentage. So if you cube to four, 
that high winning percentage of your opponent uh, translates to many uh, unpleasant eight cubes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I certainly wouldn't cube here. Yeah. Sometimes in these situations, after uh, uh, I just roll uh, just to uh, to. Before I look at the position more and more, like so more should, and more. <laughs> you should be very confident that it's a recube at uh, zero zero for money game. Yeah, it 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 must be a super strong recube at zero zero to be uh, still a uh, recube at two zero. So I think he correctly uh, refused to cube. Mm -hmm. And five two is a great shot uh, because. Uh, Five point is really essential to Marta's chances okay. now. Roll on. Uh, I mean, this is so so tough now. Okay, he's shipping it back. So what can happen? Is there anything that doesn't cover the five? I think because of the square, I mean, this is so tough. <laughs> okay, she takes it. That's uh, I, I was hoping she would take because I really yeah. want to see the game continue. Um, what I can see here is that uh, for sure, uh, it's very likely that her back game, uh, she won't lose the timing of the back game because she has a uh, four anchor is advanced and uh, Oliver cannot build a really a strong prime in front of us, so she will keep her timing and any time she, she gets a shot later on when she has a strong position she probably can already uh, ship it to eight just on a double shot or something. So that could uh, this uh, game really could lead to some very interesting spots. So viewers are saying it's scratching when you're talking and it's less scratching when I'm talking. Uh, I don't know what you can okay. do. Uh, okay. Sounds getting worse, guys. So, uh, why now? What, what could it be? It's in the correct mode. It's, it's getting worse. We might have uh, issues with the internet here. Um, uh -huh. I think there's not much we can do about it. Uh, if I change here anything with the microphone, yeah, it's most likely. Now it's, now it's scratching everywhere. Okay, so what can so, we do? I don't think we can. I have no idea what we what we uh, do here now. Some uh, I don't know some reset or something. So, so maybe too close to another. Well, uh, if it's bad anyway, we can try something. This one is this good. Is, is, is it a bit better now? We change it to another mode. Something. Microphone setting. But honestly, we just changed the mode and we have the microphone and we are not really knowing what we are doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're just trying to give you a better experience, but, but, it was, but it was okay in the beginning. So, that, what could that mean? Since so we haven't changed so. anything. Not better, okay. Not uh, better. Uh, we'll go to the third mode of the microphone and connect it, disconnect it. That's something uh, like I always do. Uh, as a, uh, but I think it's uh, didn't make a difference now we start the third mode. I don't think so. Um, then let's go to. to Settings and so, so if we disconnect it and put it back in, I don't think that's it's highly unlikely that's a microphone issue. I more, uh, I think that it's an um, issue bandwidth. So we'll just, I guess, uh, keep on talking about the positions. <laughs> and I'm really worried with my voice, so. so hmm. Yeah, really, I'm out of ideas what you. What we can do on the fly. Uh, so, yeah, we just resided uh, the, the computer before the before this stream because we had some other issues. But anyway, I want to don't want to 
what are you with details? Uh, so it's pretty much uh, freshly booted. So we will know so that can you tell us was it from the beginning that bad? Um, just everyone was polite did not mention it, or was it bad and got worse? Or was it all of a sudden um, or less starting to stretch? But I think it's something with the career now. Oh. Okay. Okay. The real guys from Kraftwerk. Yeah, it's not something you can understand us, but it's just inconvenient. So I think we have no better idea than just just uh, trying to make the best of it and uh, focus on the match okay. yeah. And I don't think it's only robotic in the case. So we are just uh, it's just weird and we are weird anyway. So yeah. But we're certainly uh, referring to Kraftwerk. We are certainly not this model. <laughs> So uh, what happened here now? Uh, sorry guys. Uh, so seems like uh, Marta came in. Uh, yeah, that's already the decision when the trailer wants the fork you here. You can get a bit more into uh, as as black here and it's more because this really doesn't take much to ship it to eight, especially in the direction of that makes it a lot worse. So, um, we are in the dark, we cover it. Yeah, uh, yeah, the problem here is Martha will lose. If things go badly, she will, will lose again so often. So then she will be down 10 nothing, uh, uh, to, to 13. So, on her random losses, she almost has nothing to lose. So uh, that means that uh, losing a gamma on the 4th cube or on the 8th cube is a big difference for her. Because 10 nothing great equity, uh, she has very little equity left. So what she does by uh, giving an 8th cube is basically chilling her own gamma losses or making them useless. The gamma is almost useless for all of her, and that's another reason why she's so incentivized uh, to ship it back at the first opportunity. Just disconnected the microphone and connected it again. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, what I, I guess is pretty unlikely to be the reason, because if I see the statistics, uh, it seems pretty good here. The download rate and things like that. Is it good now? Works, yeah. That's what I, 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 I told you. Just yeah, do, yeah, do yeah. the amateur it's thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad. So, uh, so, uh, so the first, yeah, so now let's concentrate back on the game. So far, things now, things have really worked out well for Oliver. He's thinking about pre-clearing the most troublesome point, the six point. I, I actually like his idea. Sorry, I was still distracted. Uh, uh, I'll try to get back in focus. Well, uh, 
Mata sport is still weak, and certainly he avoids double shots in the future. So what's the original position? Uh, yeah, he had double aces to play. I think he, he was on the 11. And uh, the question was about pre-clearing the 6, or...? Yeah, there? yeah, exactly. So that's the position. So, I mean, Mata's on the bar. So yeah, that's nice. Definitely like... I like the play. ...clearing the, the 6. And now Mata can finally so build something. Easier. And of course, there are many numbers that don't get the block to safety, but this is one of them. Okay, audio is working. I'm so glad. So now. Now Mata should be just focused on building her front structure as quickly as possible. No need to care about gammon losses because if she doesn't hit anything, uh, sure. she'll lose a gammon. So she can entirely focus on making her board strong or her prime. She doesn't want to build her board actually, but she wants to build her prime from the back. Oliver. Should not roll double. Double six. Uh, so is the 21 point really important here? I So I would first think about whether I want to leave with one checker from the 21, because if I do, I certainly wouldn't uh, play with two checkers to the, to the six, because I want to build mm -hmm. my prime from the back. I think he, she should leave with one checker, move it to the nine for sure. And yeah, move it to the three, maybe? So how many sixes did you play now? Uh, yeah, this is clear, I think. I think and if it's only one more, it, it, it should be nine to three, I think. Oh, no, it's it, no more. So then that's the perfect play. I mean, I really like that play. Interesting uh, three. Okay. Taking off oh, gives him bad aces. Like uh, now he leaves a shot on a five, six, a six, uh, a three. He can clear the three point. A deuce is okay too. I like this play, but I... the other one uh, leaves a double shot on six five, and yeah, what else is bad? Usually you want to don't want to create stacks on your deuce point. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, of course. Yeah, this is this is tough for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, he plays it like this, and of course the question would be now whether you want to leave the ace, but I don't think so, because mm -hmm. if white leaves the ace, you get a double shot. Uh, you have big swings on five four and six four mm -hmm. for black, but I think it's not Right idea, so uh, good for him, for Oliver, that he uh, kept uh, the checker, the spare on the three. And now, for example, if Oliver leaves a shot, how many men has he got off? Four or something? Mm -hmm. But let's, no, so forget about it. <laughs> I was just wondering if, if it's an eight cube. If, if that would have been an eight cube. So now, of course, you won't see an, I uh, know, I don't think, I mean, you should keep your prime. That was now. She played that to avoid getting gammon, but I think it gives up too much. I would have kept the prime. Now she is completely in gammon saving mode without really her best chance of saving the gammon is hitting. Is hitting yeah. yeah, because without hitting, this looks. Yeah, she hits. So we that was crucial. But now, see. Uh, the bar point it's uh, more difficult. To... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more difficult. It's a huge difference whether you have to. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> whether you have uh, the bar point or not, and also, yeah, the plan is actually for White to build a six prime and then go for the second checker. Of course, uh, with all the checkers on top of the prime, you probably won't get to a six prime anytime soon, and also cannot go fishing for for a second checker. Of course, there are some immediate bad numbers for black, like 2-1. Nope. 
for uh, <laughs> actually maybe I mean, probably she doesn't want to get hit, especially if when she rolled six one from the bar. But the more checkers she gets back into circulation, the better her chances to build a prime. So I don't know if that was too bold. So now she really has to contain that checker. Uh, in on the four, and I think Mike. you keep them all. All back. All. Oh, no, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like. Maybe to the nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Usually, you have to optimize the chances against the the straggler. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to. Yeah, this is the keeping the checker. Can't force him to play an ace. Yeah. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Natural tendency to to keep the last man back, but you know, containment like that, I think you have to focus on containing the straggler. Huh? Well, yeah. yeah. It's difficult. Now simply make the deuce and have the checker. No, why, why, why make the ace? Oh. Maybe she didn't see it. She didn't see it. Too I fast. Too fast. Ah, now she's and now she looked at, oh, too bad maybe, because maybe it's just too nervous. Yeah. Too nervous. Yeah, because it was so match. Yeah. I mean, of yes. course, you are much better off when you have uh, the the deuce point here. Double force is a miss, I think. Yeah, that's terrible for her. Oh, it's getting hard. So this is really unfortunate. Yeah, and then to the six. Yeah. And then to the six. Yeah. Now Oliver needs something big, an eight, a seven is not enough. So Anyone another else? crucial shot is coming up. Yes, she hits again. Yeah. So we are neutral, but now we are rooting a little bit for Marta because we want to see a longer match. Yeah, Even exactly. So we have to work longer here. But <laughs> no, it's also more more. more the game itself, itself is a lot more exciting. Yeah. Uh, potential cube action, but uh, now that, that Marta has made her race point. Basically, there's no fishing anymore, fishing expedition. She now has to go for the close board. So, and with uh, Oliver only having eight checkers off, uh, she has good chances. Oh, but very good chances. To play maybe, fishing. maybe to, would you would you want to slot the the juice here because that checker on the three is really I horrible. I think it would still be in gaming saving mode and not slot, but. I think uh, uh, probably I would have thought, it, yeah, maybe that's an overplay. But, uh, yeah, same decision, what, uh, different role. I like that play, but the chances are that you are right and slotting. Uh, it just feels when I see the dilly on the three, it yeah, really yeah, it's is itching to get to it. Uh, and, and there's an additional benefit, then you can go fishing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is terrible, but at least she can make her prime. Or maybe she, she can do banana, go bananas here with four to two. Banana and the bananas, bananas looks interesting actually. Yes, she yeah, sees yeah. it. Nice. I think it's the right idea. So often the right idea when the opponent is down to one point. But great yeah. play. I really like that play. Yeah. Banana, banana. Even if it's not right, uh, I like it. <laughs> no, I, I have a strong feeling about it because. Uh, um, second block. How happy are you? As I mean, you are probably happy to hit, but how happy are you? Yes, yeah. covering that lot, recreating a prime. Uh, she made some mistakes, I think, in the, in this game in uh, with breaking her prime and everything. But this banana play was really great and so fast. That's that's also yeah. sure. She saw it immediately. Yeah. Let's see that there's a lot of talent. Yeah. Just a natural feeling for what what you gotta do. Mm. Or simply she knows these positions. We don't know. Maybe <laughs> she stu studied these. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, uh, I mean, I only uh, had a hunch because I studied these and saw so over and over again in this structure, in the position that uh, Oliver has. Uh, it's usually correct. Ah, that was just a, that was the great best. Role for Oliver. 
great role. So no more fishing, just trying to get the close out. So now she's really hoping to get missed. Close the board and hope for the best. Two four. Was a fighter. Stays exciting. Five two is a bad shot now. No bananas anymore. No, make, the make the prime. Make the prime. And make the forward. prime and uh, keep your fingers crossed for one roll. That your opponent doesn't roll a six. Yes, good oh, play. I just hit the fly shot after that. Okay, no, no move. So three and fives are hitters. Four one is a hitter. So next attempt for the closeout. Okay, now she's a pretty big favorite to achieve it. Yes, so close out achieved. So worst avoided. And certainly the cube action is also skewed even in this position to a more aggressive approach, even mm. uh, if you, now that you cannot lose a gammon anymore, that argument is out of the window that you uh, devalue your opponent's gammons. But still in this race, uh, she benefits much more from these extra four points, letting her get to eight, Two uh, then Oliver, so that means her doubling point is is moved down, and uh, uh, so in, no, in normal language you just should recube more aggressively than you otherwise would. So with two checkers off on the close board, for example, would be good enough, maybe. Yeah, but that was a really bad number uh, because she wanted to uh, take yeah. checkers off before breaking her board, so. Uh, if he rolls so for now she has to go with aces and uses yeah, she has certainly it. has to hit she has to open ace or use to get that checker back on the bar big numbers are bad for a five one <laughs> yeah i think so if she just hit, uh, you yeah. have to do it no other way hit on the four and take the five off would yeah, be my play so, yeah. really so after it. dance you are back into business if you don't do that, it's very slim chances in the race. At least it feels like that with black on roll. I think that's not enough. With the speed board and her gap on the four. Of course, you can win the race from here. One double sixes and it's over. But the double sixes also don't grow on trees. So I maybe I'm totally off here, but because you really have to estimate your racing chances uh, and compare that yeah. but just to... a six roll position no one two three and the 21 is more or less three walls let's say six rolls for black and what do we have here one two three four five six, yeah, more, five, seven, six. more like seven seven rolls for for what <sighs> It's tough, but I would. I, would, I, I would think. think yeah. I think. Uh, yes, I would. I would do that. And if this is wrong, it does not feel so bad than the other players. Oh, yeah, so if you will just lose in the race, something great, and, uh, and even if you get hit, you have still some life after death. You can yeah. pick up that checker. I would play like this. And as you often said, if, if you err, try to err on the side of aggression. Is mm -hmm. that also the case here? Or yeah, I would. Uh, uh, mindset. Yeah, yeah especially. I mean, I see uh, some pretty good opportunities for an eight cube here. That's I always have also have the cube action in mind. If black dances, how far away are and you? It's very good that you take so much time. Yeah, That's here this is decision. A, a crucial decision yeah. in the match, and I think she has calmed down a bit. Yeah. Seemed uh, a bit nervous before, like this one four three where she made the. The deuce, the the ace point instead of the yeah. deuce point. Yeah. So now we're back to the original position. Yeah. And uh, really interesting to see. Maybe somebody can check it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can. What would we? Do? Uh, what I I wouldn't feel embarrassed if I uh, if people tell me here I, you made the two hundred blunder. It's yeah, so difficult to that, yeah. so difficult to calculate five for sure. And now it's the ace. So the first banana she played instantly, and, and I really liked it. Easier, huh? and 
Yeah. And to be honest, uh, the banana split thing is quite common these okay, days. Okay, she doesn't do it. Okay. Okay, so she she considers herself uh, herself having enough racing chances, which might be correct. Yeah. yeah. Difficult. Just didn't feel like now she has nine checkers and he. Okay, so her plan might work, but still well, quite. Was... A perfect situation for EPC, huh? Art Benjamin. Uh, but Banana Split thing. was right by 92, so I'm glad that. But now, uh, that's what I said. Uh, double sixes don't uh, grow on trees, but uh, there's one. <laughs> so thanks, Pete, for the information. Yeah, thank you. And yes, Mrs. Bubbles, we agree with you. She handles this very well, and we like it as well. Anything other than 5 4, 5 4 for Sublander, yeah. yeah. So, um, so of course, bad for Oliver. Good news for the neutral watchers. Uh, Get a longer match. What was a two hundred? Yeah, so pretty big. Yeah, it felt like the race was just not there. And also, you you reduce your cube power. I, I know, and maybe I'm boring you guys with all my cube rambling, but it's it's true. You always have to keep it in mind and uh, uh, how you get best to. Uh, to a proper, uh, to a strong recube. So, five three standard. Oliver knows this. Ah, Oliver, uh, Oliver's recube was a blunder. So that was this uh, mm -hmm. phenomenon that you really have to be careful with four cubes uh, leading in a match when the opponent still has a lot of winning chances left. Yeah. Pete says was a blunder, but he rolled very well and got away with it. Not quite in the end. <laughs> so almost got away with it. So now this is, I think, uh, is this takeable? I mean, you don't have anything. I don't think this is takeable. I mean, we we should. Uh, or. I mean, covering right now, you don't have any counterplay. You just have to hope that White isn't able to make the five point. This is a position where. Yeah, and, and the back jugger position. I know it, it was the other way around. Uh, Marta was queuing, so I was just. Uh, Oliver passed this, yeah. so I was just looking wrongly. But no matter, this was just. Uh, yeah, and the back jugger position was. Yeah. Big difference, no? Mm -hmm. if they aren't back this was certainly a position with uh, high gammon rates and not only moderately mm -hmm. increased, I would say. Maybe you take if, if the backtrackers would have been on the back on the 24, mm -hmm. for glued backtrackers. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, Marta had uh, advantage in all departments and just no real counterplay for the moment. One. We use slot against the 5-2. We talked about this recently, I think. Yeah, usually we use slot. But I think it's not a big deal against the 5-2. It's a bigger deal against the 4-1 than, the, uh, than you, or against the 4-3. Then you have to counter slot. 5-4, awkward number. So you can, I think the, so do you want to hit something? Answer is no. The weak double tiger, the ultra weak double tiger. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, uh, Rainer refers to hitting the two checkers on the ace and deuce. But I think that would have been not a serious. Uh, <laughs> so not a serious <laughs> contender. So okay, no, 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 no. I, uh, that fe is that. I mean, when you have this prime structure, do you really need to hit on the ace? Maybe because I was surprised. Mm. I made errors like that. I think it was there. I did something similar. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe it was I. Yeah, I, I sometimes overlook these hits on the ace because they don't. They look so ugly. But it's certainly a way of protecting your split back checkers. 
So when you have made the three point or the bar point, which indicates that you have a priming game, you are less inclined to make this this uh, tempo hits on the ace. Whereas when you have the deuce point or three point already and not such good priming potential, you mind a lot less hitting loose on the ace. So yeah. of course there are many other factors. So the uh, game developed uh, very nicely for Arta. And now she's considering a cube. Unfortunately, we also don't have a, a pip count. So and we are lazy. And we are lazy, but uh, pip count looks really looks really good for her. I mean, she has to be a bit more careful with cube with cubing because of her not insignificant lead, certainly. But she has mm -hmm. the anchor. Lots of work to do, but her game plan. So this is a position, even though black is on the bar against the three point board where black, uh, white doesn't win that many gamins because white's game plan is mainly racing. So for, for example, right now, she should, uh, probably just go to the 10 and cash. Yeah. So, yeah. so her main way of winning this is just winning the race, escaping the last checkers. I think this simply gives uh, um, gives Black some jokers to get mm. back into the game. So I would uh, and you will would have strong for, if, uh, yeah maybe G. now she can play on for the G. But uh, mm. uh, her play makes more sense uh, when she's playing on. But now, by the cubed. way, when when you all we have already cubed, so, so you take full advantage of your gamma wins. So she, she played this with, with in mind that after dancing, she just can't play on, and now she definitely should play on. Sure. But still, Black will have some jokers, but now it's a clear play on. I mean, we agree un unless, uh, but... So she took some risks in a position where she could have uh, cashed after any of uh, Oliver's roles. Don't know if that was good because that is usually, I mean, the most likely variation that you only will be able to squeeze out one point anyway. I think it's a pass because, I mean, that must be a huge racing lead yeah. and some gammons for white. And yes, uh, black contact. has a contact, but it's only with one checker and yeah. Even though uh, he's more incentivized to take here because of the score, I think this is just uh, not enough shot equity because there's virtually no race equity here, at least the optics. Yeah, and no gamma is recubes and things like that. So yeah, no so this is, this, is, this is certainly not a position where you would want to make a stand being down uh, and losing and two points yeah. your opponent gets to an to an even kind of race score so yeah. it's only it's, it's a minor consideration i think and suppose the scenario where you really get the shot so uh your opponent is forced to hit loose yes then you can turn the game around but if 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 you don't if you dance all of a sudden you're in severe gammon danger so there is a significant amount of gammons here if if Mata rolls something that she cannot play safely and simply has to yeah. hit, hit, uh, attack that lone checker. So, yeah, I would want to drop this. But he's certainly going through all the rolls. I mean, what I'm doing here as a commentator. Okay, mm -hmm. pass, take, blunder, yeah. Okay, so and then it's also not a position when you can expect to outplay your opponent because you consider yeah. yourself the stronger. So okay, he makes a good decision yeah. and uh, yeah. theoretically correct and uh, practical. I think yeah, I, I think I think I I have mainly given up on this uh, that I might be the stronger player and I should do this and this. This adds so much confusion. You are the stronger player, but you don't try to exploit it. Huh? So. Yeah, I mean I. I made so many blunders by now by trying uh, to, ex to, to adjust that I'm really careful now with that. Yeah. And I, I don't even know. Uh, 
I, I don't know Marta well, but I heard she's a very strong player. We have seen her having great instincts. And if you do it, it's more or less in borderline decisions. Yeah. So and, you really... and if you waste away a ton of equity, you, you first have to regain it at some point. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's, it's an investment. I think yeah. you have to think that it's a borderline decision. Then it may be Maybe, the last, yeah. okay. the so, last uh, so so the last factor yeah. to to tip it to one or another. But this was certainly not the case here, and I don't think that uh, Oliver is just uh, like uh, maybe probably at the bookmaker, he would be a favorite. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly what uh, Mata's uh, PR uh, is, but, also, but from what I see, she very solid game. Yeah. Maybe a little bit nervous. Maybe she would even be better. On, but yeah, in, I've seen a lot of good actions. Which yeah, points yeah. In, in the direction. Yeah. She's, a, she's a strong oh, player yeah. on the walls. Yeah. So just uh, don't get too creative with these uh, considerations. Who's better? Who's worse? Only adds confusion. And don't overestimate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> the five one uh, down and up, or is there anything or out maybe? But yeah, maybe out against the strip midpoint. But you real and I was wrong. But on the other hand, I, it's also nice with the six checkers and the strip front position. Sure. The, the, I would play the ace first and then think about the five. Yeah. So this is also like mechanics. So because the ace will, will be 22, oh, 21, wrong, but... always. Yeah, you've got the stronger board, so you're not really afraid of uh, creating content. And now you have a spare to play with. And here, I think... Again, we don't have the race, but uh, at least you should consider cubing. Whenever you get a shot and you have a strong board, you know there's some volatility. There must be market losing sequences. So, for example, any hit and dance, uh, obviously it's a market loss at that score particularly. So, yes, uh, that's a nice score-based cube. Yeah. And what's the worst that can happen that you miss and then you are still in, in good shape? And the final argument for the cube is uh, it will be very difficult for Marta to find a good recube, not the situation uh, that we had before where she was trailing. So five, three, five, yeah, looks good to unstack more and yeah, okay. I know it's Marta's roll. I saw three, five and just moved it. So sorry for that. Yeah, certainly cover and probably out. I mean, the checker on the 23 looks more like a liability to me, to be honest. But yeah, and, but maybe. Okay, hmm. double threes, okay. Here we see why it could become a liability. <laughs> okay, but that was bad luck. Really. That was really <laughs> the, the joker. I mean, otherwise had she rolled double fours, uh, had he rolled double fours uh, when she had left it. So don't, please don't be results oriented. That was more like, just not a too serious comment. Okay, now double deuces. Uh, the nine is nice. always nice when you have the open three. So always try to make points six pips apart from your inside outfield points that are six pips apart from your inside points. So the, the 11 when you have an open five, the nine. Oh, wow. Joker after joker and... <laughs> oh, he missed double five before would have been a joker. He missed, uh, yeah, but it's just so... Uh, was the wrong side. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, he's really now looking to win again yeah more material if Marta enters certainly he wants to attack her immediately exactly what we wanted no now it's a gammon then 6c we get the match gets longer and longer 
yeah, and uh, we talked in our last stream in German about it. We really like when the match finally <laughs> gets into more known territory, and that is for us the seven point match yeah. because we're both uh, really focused on studying these uh, because the most crucial decisions usually happen at that stage. So I feel always like more comfortable once a match enters yeah. the seven point match territory. So here, double three is interesting. Uh, Oliver was thinking about uh, 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 switching points because, but uh, I think he can just keep the ace. Okay, switches. Uh, that makes it a bit easier for Mata to save it, maybe. I don't know, with the open high point <coughs> if you never close it. Wow, double sixes, so that was... Now Mata had wished to have played the six elsewhere for Pips, so... Well, maybe Oliver was attending uh, Michi's seminar today morning. Ah. The topic was switch. Switch. Very uh, interesting. Okay. So... Now he's a big favorite to win the gammon. So there's a rule of thumb when there's only two ch one checker closed out and two checkers on the bar point as Marta has against the closeout <coughs> that's about 50% gamins. And this is of course a <coughs> more outfield tips. So she really needs to roll something big to save it. It seems like after a bunch of setbacks, especially in the second game, Oliver is about to fight back and get to even. Yeah. No, I, I guess I really like this is just like for me these are the so-called whatever decision. <laughs> I'm not yeah. so the purest to really want to squeeze out yes. every thousands but there's one one important thing. You mention it very often. You should not spend any second of your time. Yeah, I mean time time back wasting time back on, on such an ace. If you do it within your twelve seconds, it's of course, I mean it's for free. So now she is counting double uh, doublets. I think double fives is impossible to uh, to get as a doublet. Uh, she should focus on double threes, which also seems difficult. Uh, but double threes here. Yeah. So first of all, you should count the pips you need to get off, and then we have which. Uh, which uh, doubles may qualify yeah, and yeah. focus on them, how to make them really take Yeah, but the, uh, since she, she has a bad distribution, I mean, gaps that... Can she fill this? I think it's double fours and sixes. I don't know, now they are... Oh no, they, she has to check her there, there. So then it would be 11-5. Does it, that would activate double fives, right? Mm-hmm. No, no, I, she has a double fives yeah, now. Yeah, it's it's not not Okay, so let's let's not talk uh, nonsense not here. So double fours and double sixes. I see. So do you see anything no. else? I'm really slow at recognizing all this. I so. think it's just four and six. So she can also hope that, uh, of course, that Oliver won't be able to take off in two. So now if they have a each time they have a different original position, it seems. <laughs> I, I also lost track now. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry guys. We have a good excuse. We are cooking here. Or we're getting cooked. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. Now it's starting to get a bit challenging the climate, not not between us, but between the weather <laughs> and, and us. <laughs> Uh, 
anyhow she should have plenty of time to figure it out she's desperately looking for a way to make uh, double threes and double fives good double fives i mean it's just cannot get the checker in range of course since she already rolled double five so no checker on the 20 15 10 Okay. Okay, so that leaves uh, her bit help. Uh, so now she has to rely on his miss. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wouldn't spend too much time. It feels better to to go to the six, and yeah, that there must be more. She, has, she had after the play she had eight pips in the outfield, which means double three would have been a candidate. Pip, yeah, yeah, but pip count wise, no? yeah. But okay, now she's really. Maybe it's, I don't know. She she probably has counted it. It's too hot for me in here to so really check it out. Eight, and it's really in not. The UK has exactly the same weather. I think yes, I think thirty four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Forecasted here as well. Uh, the problem is, it's uh, just uh, in the commentators' room. We don't have air conditioning there, mm. and also uh, uh, keep in mind the players also don't have air conditioning, but they have at least a fan. At least a fan, yeah. <laughs> we have fans as well here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the chat. <laughs> They don't produce wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so seven point match. Um, surprised uh, uh, that none of them has taken a break yet. Good play by Oliver, by the way, of the two one. Yeah. In the past, we used to play splitting, but the boards to what's told us that slotting is correct. <laughs> against the so this is, I think, yeah, the, that's the right way to approach it, by the way. Uh, now you think about the ace. Most of the time it's better uh, to make the five-pointer. Yeah, the but experience. He, here I think you don't have much material. I feel. And you have, you, you have the checker on the 11, so yeah. if you make the 4, yeah, that checker is yeah. more useful. I would, I, I really like his play the, here. On the, on the 11, I think I would make the play mm -hmm. to you. You fill the builder more or less. <clears throat> so we will not comment on Chuck's uh, comment here, but uh, I think we know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, split. When the opponent has the bar point, you, you really should prioritize uh, getting off the 24. And now, many options hit and split. Seems a bit like an overplay because that leaves uh, no bad numbers. So yes, yeah, I like the simple play, duplicating three somewhat. And he cannot achieve everything. So now probably do you really go for this for the blitz here? I mean it it's tempting because uh white has another blot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Uh, also could produce some aggressive cubes, like five, six, two, six is bad. So is that enough to cube? I mean passing is a good idea. Hmm? Pausing is a good idea. Yeah, that's that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, double, so... double tiger. Yeah, we did mention that. Uh, yeah, in the position before for Mariani, uh, but let's focus on this one. So you have some pick and pass, like six one, six one is duplicated. Can hit another checker. I mean, it's certainly thin. I mean, the take is very obvious so that's so he sends it so that's according to the rule when in doubt double 
And uh, she should take it. Uh, uh, she, she, she was brave to take some cubes before. I really hope she does it here as well. Yeah, take it. I mean, this looks, uh, White's position is really healthy. And actually, she's happy that her other back checker is on the 23 and not on the 20, because it's much more difficult for Oliver to, to attack it there. That's And think about the sequence like, uh, yes, you get hit with this with the what, whatever, 5-2. So you still have plenty of chances. So I really hope that, I think it's a big yeah. blunder to drop it. I mean, uh, not only a blunder, but maybe uh, McGreal called them whoppers and doppel whoppers <laughs> and doppel whoppers with cheese. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I hope that uh, you can tell us uh, uh, how big a take this was? I mean, I would be shocked. I mean, not, now you uh, you tell me uh, it's a pass, and I really would be shocked. I really had to... <laughs> and even though the, the image is small, I saw some kind of relief and happiness on, on Oliver's face. Maybe I'm just seeing ghosts, but... Yeah, no, yeah. And okay, now he took a lead. He had a rough patch uh, games before, but this one, it could have been in the 300s. Oh, 250. Yes, I don't want. I mean, it looked like such a clear I take to me. Go for the split. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, she knows this. Very good. She studied the openings. So um, it's just... nice to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's a big mistake. I mean, that that shows. Uh, Many people make a mistake here of not hitting here, yeah, but uh, anyway, uh, just what I guessed, uh, that, that that was a bit too thin for an initial cube, but uh, uh, we got, just got confirmed it was a monstrous bundle, so that was a, a double, wobble, double whopper with cheese. A lot uh, of cheese. <laughs> yeah, a lot of cheese, uh, maybe double cheese. Anyway, we and, all do things like that yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it happens to me. I, in one UBC contender in my first one, uh, I blew my chances, or I would have qualified for uh, the semi-final if it wasn't for a 450 take blunder in uh, a pass blunder. I mean, I passed in the, my final match, so uh, it happens. And the standard always, ball, and all of a sudden you see ghosts. Yeah, there's always pressure in positions like that, and you all of a sudden see only the bad things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned all what can go go wrong. Your, you, yeah, yeah. Or for, yeah. Go wrong for the doubler. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's especially important uh, when you see. I mean, the threats uh, are easier to see than all the things that can go yeah. well for you when you are on the bar. Yeah. So, by the way, another great shot from Oliver. So this is with the back to the wall here. So now this is another interesting cube decision. Uh, I mean, so many numbers, two, three, sixes, fives, uh, only you know, fives, fives on hit, sorry, Four. fours. Fours. So basically anything hit, hits, but then you have to follow through. Yeah, I like the cube. I still think there is enough game left to take it, especially when you hit two. And I, pro yeah, I was about to say I am sure she is going to take this because she she won't. It it feels like when you drop this again. I mean, now she really wanted to fight. So yeah. I I would have taken two. I think it's a take. It's correct, even though she gets very unlucky here. Uh, but it's so much more likely after a pass like the one she did before that she's going to take the next next one. And maybe also the, the double was easier to find for Oliver here because he just saw the pass. Maybe it's extra yeah, yeah, motivation yeah. to, 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 to be a little bit more aggression or even doubt. So. But we already saw some... Okay, take mistake. Okay, so the take uh, is a mistake, actually. I would have taken. Wow. Okay. 
but it's it's just borderline borderline so one would even have to do a rollout here oh. wow she's dancing and dancing and dancing this is really unfortunate yeah if, if uh, it's also a little bit of a score issue maybe because if, if Marta turns it around and wins two points she's five away which is not so super attractive and if if Oliver is you know even away six away which means either um, a single win would he put him four away or gamble oh. two away which is oh. quite attractive so maybe it's even yeah pushes it a little bit more in the direction of uh, yeah yeah I'm pretty passing. sure at seven or seven away seven away yeah. is the take what uh, I think you wanted to tell yeah. is that you have to be a bit more conservative with taking yeah. at the score even though trailing oh, that's the interesting yeah, yeah. thing you mentioned also in, uh, mm -hmm. in the book I think okay yeah, it's not e not that easy the back end world that you uh, just ha can be more liberal taking when you're trailing and um, have to be more conservative when leading. Uh, that is certainly not true. But let's focus again, even though the game is not in, in a super interesting stage here. So yeah, uh, but be both are happy that it's so complicated huh? mm -hmm. because we can stay in the game and learn and learn and learn and yeah, yeah, never get boring. I mean, if it's uh, I mean, I would be out of business if it was too easy it would yeah, be, what, what's the, the point then huh? yeah so that was a crucial hit Five. because uh, a second anchor changes everything here so that would uh, so uh, uh, Oliver will blast away at that uh, plot on the third point three point with everything he got just to avoid the second anchor it's so important here for him and he got uh, really lucky and now it's just uh, an ace point game and i think what what makes this a pass is because she has so many blots there is a significant amount of backgammons back and uh, backgammons lose the match yeah. so we have an additional component whenever you have like five blots strewn around all of a sudden uh, your backgammon losses go to from something like 0 0.5 uh, to like four or five percent and I think that might have made the difference here, the backgammons that uh, win Oliver the match. Mm -hmm. Could be. Often overlooked because yeah. rarely, rarely uh, an issue. Backgammons but, matter but, often. But numbers. here I would uh, estimate the backgammons now that she comes in, but still in the above 10% probably. And that, that's the match, 10% immediate losses. But uh, let's not have to backgammons of the type of cubing. Mm -hmm. Well, something. What do you have in the opening position? 0 0.5 or four, 8 or I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to these. Usually. Maybe in volume two of uh, the okay. of and black had a 31. Uh, no, I see how you saw it. 5% five, 5 backgammon. Yeah, that, that tips the scales, mm -hmm. of course. So you missed the joke. Hmm? What? Maybe I'm... it's a topic for the second uh, volume of the theory of backgammon uh, yeah yeah no second and, volume and there the real hard tough start uh, i i said what i had to say about <laughs> this these topics <laughs> no so this is really awkward because six three is uh, so ugly on the other hand if you get hit there that increases your back backgammon chances even further but I think I couldn't have brought myself to play, play six to three no, because they not never, never because ever. So how much worse can it get? Maybe, so, maybe. So it, it would be funny to see maybe even just slot and make the prime here. I mean, what, what like uh, slotting the bar might be an idea simply because then you have a chance to destroy the timing, and if you get hit, mm. there is. Basically, no downside to it. Now, uh, Marta has a, has a board, kind of. So it's it's more risky. But before, I thought it might have been a good idea to slot the bar and yeah. then destroy the timing and also win even more backgammons and all that nice stuff. From I would never have seen it. But, but, yeah, no, I saw uh, it then later on I as think... a game plan because of her super weak board at the point. So double six would be a good start for Marta. Yeah. yeah. Two, one. Yeah. She sticks Still to the plan of yeah. uh, 
playing but the checkers league. where they belong gets more important the less checkers you have on the front so yeah that is certainly <clears throat> would have been my play the four one now she can she shouldn't slot the five she should really save safety yeah. that checker and hope for a quick six to keep it uh, timing at least so okay. double sixes, great Five shot, a good shot, uh, really, yeah. because that's uh, the swing on the six is huge here. So kill your sixes, that's nice. She plays the checkers inside, and that she doesn't need to play sixes in case uh, uh, Oliver keeps the prime. But yeah, this is really looking awful. She desperately needs to escape with one of her checkers. I think Oliver should. Keep the prime, not clear the six point. And all four or five. Or, or, yeah, or, or, or even this taking checkers off wins more backgammons. Now he has to take off uh, checkers aggressively to win a backgammon here. Yeah. Yeah. So, same so concept. Immediately. That's... No doubts. Is, no, no <laughs> doubts about that one. I didn't have any. No, no. Uh, Oliver, I think, had no doubts here. That was sixes, but it was cocked. This is really. Bad six one, yeah. So this could be okay. Double fives is a joker, I would almost call it. So this <laughs> is really helping against the back end. So she's still in danger, of course, but that gives her fighting chance to survive. And we're really rooting for her to survive here uh, simply because uh, we want to see something more. Not too off on the four, or do you too think? off seems like uh, play. Okay, I, I don't see any yeah. other reasonable play actually. Oh, no, so please. now checkers out, hopefully for her. Three is clear. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So now she has a chance of getting a double shot, potentially six two off. Yeah, this is so. Crucial. Yeah. yeah, two. It's now she has four crossovers against the back German. Gonna be awfully close. A joker, another great roll, and now ace three is not oh, good. Two plus roll was at least. But at least two checkers yeah. and four three. So oh, now two. We wow. No, this time she missed out and close. Still no chances to yeah six five so now no. it comes all down to the next rule oh, how big number one. six is there yeah. so we can we can continue here yeah maybe we get some interesting cube action uh, i think they're going to take a break which is yeah. understandable is from marta's uh, side so I guess uh, we will be back when they are back, or yeah, sure. Sure. Let's, let's take a short break. Yeah, and uh, I think we prepared some videos with some impressions from the tournament here. And yeah, we'll so that and as the tech guy, you have to and we'll get this going. This is quite easy. So see you soon, guys and girls. We'll be back in a few minutes.
are just setting up the board so you didn't miss anything. So we're yeah. very happy that you enjoyed the slideshow. Thanks to Bruno. I don't know his surname, but Bruno did yeah. the pictures on the video. So five three. So uh, both players certainly have in mind that uh, Martha Martha is looking for Gemenish positions to send an early cube here to catch up in the score. Whereas uh, uh, Oliver, whenever possible, will be trying to, to get a good anchor, take the gamins out of the game, play a racing game as far as possible. Of course, you cannot always, I mean, you have to do what the dice dictate, but uh, <laughs> at these scores, uh, some decisions are quite different from, uh, from the normal score. So uh, run, yeah. I think with the, works well with the score and here you just make the ace point I think for example if uh, yeah just go for it that's what I meant uh, uh, Mata has to be more aggressive now after a dance after a dance it's probably not even a take so but he Mata, comes bad in bad entry, bad entry. I think I would ship it here yep. just ship now it. this is the type of position that uh, Marta was looking for right. and a great cube. Uh, very happy that shows uh, that's the spirit. I would yeah, say. that's the spirit. And you see that he, he was already aware of the uh, yeah. status of the match score and uh, that's why he found I it so quickly. I think it. his position is simply too good to drop it here. Too many winning uh, winnings and yeah. uh, keep in mind that, uh, I mean, Ma the value of Marta's gammons is increased, has increased compared to a normal score, but it's not like a two way, four way where it's gammon goes. So uh, there's no check on the bar, only uh, one went back, so those I, I, gammons cannot be sky yeah, high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a good take for, for him. I, I would have taken for sure. 6 3. So that one. hits, and now the pressure is on Oliver, uh, especially dancing could be fatal here. Three away. And he dances. He dances. So now he's in trouble. Okay, that's another interesting uh, question. Do you hit two? I think she has to hit the sh the checker yeah. rather than make the four point. But uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. Actually, that will be one of the topics of volume two of Twitter or not to it. <laughs> uh, how to make the I. Nah, I'm not so sure because a deuce uh, is just okay. He dances again. That's uh, very good for her, of it's, course. It's so maybe, close. <laughs> and I would play thirteen eleven. Another builder for the five. For the blitz mode. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have, of course, Ian Squire is clearly in favor of Oliver uh, rolling a joker here. <laughs> Oh, we already had support voice for Marta, so now it's a bit more even. So unfortunately for Ian, Oliver cannot comply for now. <coughs> so this is certainly a bad number. Yeah, hi Ian. Um, so more builders for sure. Um, my first idea would be getting a checker to the eight. I mean to cover, have an additional cover for the deuce. Yeah and the five so that's a natural spot and now you can think maybe you can move, move it to the seven so you have aces deuces sixes for the five and fours and fives for the deuce yeah I, that would have been my play diversify your good numbers that's the, <coughs> the topic here and now almost everything works i would say to one is one of the numbers that makes the five And another dance, and yeah, this looks like the re gammon after she got gammon and barely escaped the back gammon. She now it's payback time, it seems. <coughs> yeah, that was the last hurdle. Get that checker out of there. She's probably cleared now with the three. Still plays double four, still plays. So move ahead with that checker. 
uh, yeah, everything plays and so barring a mi miracle, uh, Oliver uh, would need to hit a shot to avoid the gamut. Which happens. Which happens, of course. He has, still has a pure position. Right. Well, will be able to handle no. the containment. Yeah, but that's, uh, I mean, that's, uh, for, you don't think about winning these <laughs> first. I always think about. Yeah, you always think about winning. Okay, uh, sorry, maybe I didn't mention, uh, I think I mentioned it, it's the semi-finals of the undefeated bracket. So, uh, the loser still has a chance, of course, uh, to win this tournament, but it's a huge swing. Well, and of course, hi David, nice to have you here. It doesn't look like a shot, but yeah. everything can happen. It's not yeah. over. So it's over. The break uh, really has helped Marta. She gave a very good cube. Uh, I played flawless for my part. Maybe XG disagrees, but uh, very good play. So here you can see uh, a break at the proper time can pay some dividends. Um, yeah, double sixes is, of course, that's some hope, but still really r very remote the chances here to save it. Another double sixes. Mm. Uh, he's the uh, commentator's curse. He's <laughs> really trying to prove me wrong. Who can blame him? But uh, how many crossovers he needs? Five, nine, ten. So it's still not going to happen in a normal universe. Needs another doublet. Actually, two doublets, probably. Without her rolling any, of course. So, not it. So. <clears throat> Three and now if he need. he need, really needs one and I Focus think that's it. it. Uh, so get to another interesting score. Uh, I love it. Uh, two way, three way. Basically the same applies uh, as before. Only here, uh, Oliver also has to be very conservative, taking cubes in pure racing positions, which were. Because his take point is very high, so that means uh, uh, even in, I mean, even in non gamish position positions, uh, uh, Mata has to be very aggressive with the cube, which wasn't quite the case uh, with the other score. So we have an issue with the mic again. I will try the plug out and plug in again. We will be shortly muted. I hope the same trick will have worked again, otherwise, we are pretty much screwed. So, where were we? Okay, better now. I'm... Uh, yes, this is the right idea for Oliver because that is the hit. No, 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 no. That's a great uh, play to split here in these situations where you really want to avoid gamma situations. So you try to get an anchor, a good anchor as quickly as possible. And no. that's exactly the idea behind hit and split keep the opponent busy on one side of the board so you can make progress on the other. So that's... Most stay likely at... this would be the game and go play, but it's yeah. reversed, or almost reversed. So if you're looking for gammon wins, then that's the play, uh, bringing the checker down. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to avoid gammons, then you go for the, the split here. Pretty sure about it. And for money or at a normal score, it's slightly better Move the checker down. I think this maybe even from the hitting book that, <laughs> that I mentioned it, but I'm not sure. So 
Haven't read it in a while. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't know. It's a, it's a small mistake, but uh, yeah. But it's certainly it doesn't won't cost you much. And uh, yeah, he got missed. Now uh, he should cover and split with the back checkers. Yeah. He shouldn't hit, I think, or hitting and making it a ten, maybe. Looks weird. I like the structure and split. Split and uh, make the four. That would be my play, I think. Because even if he makes a point, you still have the blood here. Yeah, and this is just like really you want to unstack the unstack the six points. So yeah, can't be sure that this is correct, but I think the book would say not hit and make the point here. <laughs> but I'm not sure, especially as it's scoring. Uh, this score easier for white to click, yes. What I was talking about, no? even if she, if she has a good role, at least we get a, huh? a direct shot here. Mm -hmm. um, no, uh, just a question from Jack. Yes, uh, white is incentivized to cube super aggressively. Uh, however, yeah. right now, white doesn't have uh, really an advantage. But uh, Super aggressively if you have gammons and aggressively, aggressively if you yeah, have yeah, gammons. Yeah. yeah, and actually three-way, two-way, besides four-way, two-way is uh, pretty much the only score where you can double after the opening sequences, where there exist opening sequences after which you can already double. Oh. So, so that shows you how aggressive you can be. Four-way, two-way, you have some huge doubles and with three away, two away, some and small, small doubles, doubles at some so, or something like that. For example, if one side, the three way side rolls a three one and the uh, two way sides rolls a four three, that's already a cube at the score. So, to give you an idea uh, how aggressive uh, Marta is supposed to cube, of course, this position she doesn't really have an advantage. Who is Michi playing doubles with? Do you know? I know that there was a tournament uh, 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 online and the prize was for the winner to play doubles with Michi, yeah. but I don't know who to won. To be honest, I saw the name, but I forgot. I saw okay. it and I said, oh, who is this? Oh, this must be from the special tournament. So 5-4. Yeah, I would... Would you slot the juice? I think I like this bit better. I mean, in case you hit something in the outfield or don't want to have a lot. It's a great shot. Of course, the uh, Black's uh, doubling strategy is reversed, so you really have very few good cubes when there are still gammons. When there are no gammons anymore, race situations, you can actually double more aggressively. But uh, for now, this is a gammonish situation. So you just forget about the cube and you better hit if you are black, but no. So now uh, I don't think uh, white is leading in the race here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I'm just. So no cube, especially when you are um, white and you see the opponent's anchor on the three you know i don't win too many gamuts here so one big incentive for cubing is gone so my strategy would be to try to improve a bit more mm -hmm. like uh, for example making sure that that blot uh, is safe that you have and then uh, then cube maybe but she's making she's counting the race which is key to here yeah. because when you up 20 if she's up 20 pips of course she can ship it the cube there is but no in this position not but that is how you should approach it count the race and then make your decision so for example like in this position now if she gets missed it's different or for example you might have yeah, she should make it 
make it just just make it make this no 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 i don't think i would make it i mean especially with some roles where where oliver hits after uh, she probably has a cube from the bar mm -hmm. <laughs> could easily be mm. ah yes klaus bergman yeah klaus bergman yeah i, yeah. I remember I, I played him once yeah nice guy so three one i think uh, this is the perfect opportunity uh, for example uh, probably oliver cannot even hit with a uh, 3-1 i would say with all the bloods or if yeah. he hits he gets cubed no i don't, no, like, no, I don't like this no, no, no. but an, an extra builder for the point that you can make uh, just uh, gives up structure i think it's the wrong idea yeah nice. uh, here we see everything except the five point is a blunder uh, that's not surprising yeah. Because maybe it's the theme you can put the builders when they're blocks on the home board, but here that's that's the wrong idea. Because, uh, yeah, no, just term, make it uh, long term. Also, also, just, also, just to... also, the strong point increases uh, yeah. gammon wins. That's, and, uh, and why do you put the builders there? You, because you want to make the five point. Yeah, and you can do it now. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said before. Yeah. I mean, uh, a builder for a point that you yeah. can just make. So here now, this is a big improvement. Uh, I wouldn't wait too long for her to cube. Yeah. So uh, Raza has a take point of 26% and he has no cube power, mm -hmm. which means he has to be a lot more careful, conservative, yeah. even though in non gamma positions. Yeah. And I think uh, like making the five prime, like rolling something like five one, uh, double deuces and things like that probably will use her in the, uh, lose her in the market already. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't mind a cube at all here. Certainly a take. So in races you have to be maybe I trust even more because you have usually a lot of in longer races a lot of uh, recube quick, mm -hmm. and in in the holding games it's a little bit restricted anyway. Mm -hmm. So maybe the adjustment mm -hmm. is not so big in mm -hmm. holding game type, mm -hmm. but still. Then okay, just uh, from the pr practical point of view, I mean that's my saying. How bad can it be? So yeah. you can much rather uh, make big mistakes uh, by missing a series of cubes than oh it's already passed so yeah so that that shows i would have guessed uh, black has more than 26 percent but also i didn't count the race yeah, even if it's, if it's a take even a, a yeah. grandmaster might pass you know never know what happens ah uh, no 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 uh she made the count and sh certainly she felt uh that she wasn't up enough in the race mm. Uh, yeah, that that now something can happen that I talk to students about all the time, which is why when in doubt double. Now she may make a series of mistakes, so compounding mistakes. Yeah. Minus nineteen. It doesn't look like minus nineteen, but uh, that's. So now at least she's thinking again. So that's uh, also an important thing in practical play, Justin, mm -hmm. because you didn't cube uh, one point. Every decision is also a cube decision when you have access to the cube, of course. So yeah, and. and uh, yeah, another missed cube probably, but uh, yeah, that's the danger when you go down that road. Mm. Okay, 6-3 cocked. We don't play dice on checker here. Well, that's a big improvement because uh, a race is very close, so you really don't want to get stuck there. Yeah, and then make the A's or do so, just do something. Or even you can make the bar, even though it's not so race efficient. But... <clears throat> yeah, but this last use is not really decisive. Now she's counting again. But uh, so what I usually do when I counted once, then continue make a running count. Uh, yeah, 
Okay, and two big numbers and uh, uh, Oliver is really back in business. Yeah, that's exactly what he was hoping for so that he can leave the anchor without leaving a shot. And so it's really just, no, make the slot the five, slot the five. That's that's a big mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, not for, for non-contact well, position, it's significant because you really need checkers on your five point because playing with, with that big stack, on the six point, every five that you roll really yes. will hurt. So that there could even be a blunder here. Interestingly yeah. enough, so this this was I would say like a sloppy play. You think uh, uh, contact is broken, so what what everything is basically the same. But here it is not. It's really important. Now she plays it has at least one checker. But had she rolled something else, she may never get a checker to on, on that five point, and that's so bad for the bear off. Racing against the gammon or racing for a win is different. Right? Yeah, against yeah. the gammon often crossovers matter, but in racing yeah, for yeah, the you go to the six point basically. That's mm -hmm. the rule for racing yeah. against the gammon. And yeah. here, and again, she should play six to five with the ace for sure. Yeah, this time she she does it great. Yeah, that was good. So one checker in on the six, and certainly no cube here. I would guess that is about even two, four. Yeah, that's a great shot. So now remember that she has to cube more aggressive. She should cube more aggressively than for money. So this is for sure a cube the score i guess i mean just blindly saying it but maybe i should count first uh one more checker off so she's up oh, there's another checker mm -hmm. that i didn't see yeah this has to be a cube for sure so did you make the pip count yes exactly. yeah it's very good to Eight or fifty nine? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Yeah, but if, if it's that much, then it's I'm even a pass. Pretty sure, that's a pass. So that would up seven. Yeah, that's a pass. Twenty. You don't have twenty six percent here. One more checker off. I mean, the white distribution looks a bit awkward. Yeah, pass. And again, if it's what do I think it's borderline, X3 versus X3, you should definitely drop here. Mm -hmm. So um Okay. Yeah, it's it's it seems borderline for uh, the normal score. This is an easy take. Um mainly uh, because you have uh, something that is called weak you big. You can gain, may gain equity through uh, redoubles. And it's a little stuck on the four point. It's also a little bit tricky. So it gives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just like a. I mean, the problem is okay for normal score. You take it. So now you have to really evaluate how much are you supposed to deviate here. So I think I, I'm. I'm sure that. Oliver takes this at zero zero. Unusual position with seven checkers on the four point for yeah. Marta. Usually, in all kinds of uh, racing formulas, you really? only have uh, for race search for three, two, or one point yeah. and adjust for gaps on the four or five or six. Or maybe this is an exception where you should have, yeah. have to adjust yeah. a little yeah. bit for the super stack on the four. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, for I sure, that, that should produce some punishment. Very rare. Uh, in a, in because uh, in a pure pip race, this would be a pass probably mm -hmm. if it's seven. Like percentage wise, with the percentage formulas. So now again, we need Art Benjamin to give us the precise, almost precise you know, EPC. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, good take. Uh, no, 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 not no, good no, take. No, yeah, no. I was just thinking normal score, and especially for practical purposes. Okay, yeah, but you think he, uh, he should consider himself a big uh, or a significant favorite, yeah, the better yeah, player yeah, and all these things. Yeah, I, as I said, I'm rather careful with all this, but what is for sure, uh, uh, if you want to look for skill involved in a position, that's not it. 
<laughs> but yeah, it could be now it's very exciting to watch because it could be over. Oh, double force that would have yeah, sealed perfect. the deal. Or two is a lot worse. It's uh, almost better than double six. No, no I'm kidding, but <laughs> it's, it's a perfect roll. It looks nice after double force and <laughs> after double six. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In these positions, uh, it's it's difficult to avoid trash talk. But now we have uh, an interesting decision. Um, so he takes off. He has one ace left. I think so. So that would then it would be five to four. My ace, I think yeah, six to five looks weird, and uh, may uh, because you may produce a gap on the on the four later on, which you really don't want to have. Uh, six. I don't know what's what's the reasoning behind this. He doesn't need know. to play for double fives to win here. Really, no idea why this. And he can roll a four, and then he's really happy to have two checkers. Yeah, there. But so they are both and both uh, creeping to the finish line. He's two not one, bullish one. yet that he wants to prepare for double five. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so uh, the case uh, here. Okay, there is double five. So five. now finally somebody wants <clears throat> to win this race. Uh, yeah. Or they were both rather low, and now it's of course now you can consider no, activating uh, uh, certain doublets. That's uh, because you're really in pretty bad shape. So um, six to four activate activates double four. So that would be my preferred play. Nice. Also, if you are on threes, threes is not enough, enough anyway. Uh, so, probably so you have to. Yeah, really focus on bad. double uses still alive except seven, six game. three still alive uh, only one doublet big doublet shy of making it to the final that's not it so but it, it has to be the biggie and back to my comment that they don't grow on trees okay that's not it. One six oh, is yeah. not enough. So we enter game and go. Another yeah. game and save game and go. This is another very interesting uh, score. So I'm I'm really liking that they're going through all these yeah, scores yeah. where where there are special things to talk about. So now uh, it's completely reversed. Marta has to be extremely careful. And it would be extremely happy to get into a simple position, holding game, racing position. While whereas uh, Oliver has to has to be hyper aggressive and really go for the gammon. That's why it's called gammon go the score from his perspective. Yeah. So for example, here he will slot. I'm sure, because that increases uh, gammon wins. So Oliver's gammons are exactly doubled the value compared to a neutral score or money game and Marta's gems are completely worthless. Yeah. That's the definition for game and go and game yeah. and save. So he's off to a promising start. Um, yeah, right. perfect, and perfect already start so him. that's okay, that's good, good, good reply. Good for example at that score you would much rather have rolled a four three than a six three. Just really this the first step here for white is get an anchor. Get permanent peace. <laughs> Four or six is not it. So as long as you don't have an anchor. So now we have uh, Marianne. Uh, Norway is back again. Norway is back us. again. Yeah. Guess Ian will disagree, but that's. Uh, I mean, it's just. Of course, uh, nothing against the the opponent, just in favor of of your person. So it still looks good. yeah. So it's a, yeah, yeah. Now Oliver. this was uh, was great for her. Now she has something to build on and it makes it harder for Oliver to attack. So the value of an offensive point is always also a, a defensive value in the sense that it just makes makes it harder for you opponents just to attack you hyper aggressively because opponent will get punished more severely. Uh, if that attack doesn't work, so five point was great. Come on, Oli. Yeah, oh, this was uh, a big blow for Oli, 
and Norway is also now really everybody's chiming in there. I really like that a little bit friendly competition. Always appreciated. So yeah, this is actually really I don't know. I just this is a very bad role, of course. Because so uh, I was clear, zero. And then... uh, you want to minimize shots, probably. So it's six five, six four. I mean, playing six to five, but I would uh, move to the fourteen because the fourteen is connected to the eight, so you yeah. have it's easier to option. to save that checker Should in case be, you get missed. So yeah. it's just better connected to the rest of the team. So this was really awful. He should. Uh, for him, uh, he should jump into the bar and play three to two. I think uh, keep the goalkeeper and also not make the second anchor because it's just no chance that he will keep all the anchors. So I don't think it's the right idea to play make the twenty three and play thirteen eight. Yeah. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Not a time timing to keep them both. Huh? So that looks like good. Goal also board control. Yeah, I think I like this place three to two. And also, this, the, the, this the, the man on the three yeah. point deck, such a guy is, is screaming, put me on the two point. So uh, now uh, Marta shouldn't hit, of course, and just play to the five. Uh, actually, a really good roll because it improves her distribution. Yeah, now we are in a spot where I would say that's really what you want to achieve. Uh, when you are given safe, and I think he is not that. I mean, probably is even ahead in the race after. So maybe he just wants to. Yeah, out. I mean, this is not the type of position he wants to play, but uh, she sh still should be happy, uh, since. Uh, um, I think it's even up in the race a bit, would be my guess. I'm just, uh, it's just too hot for me to, to cut, start counting pips here. Yeah, that would be my play. Five. Of course, now he really wished he had some some ammunition back, but I think he made a good play. Yeah, now he's again the queen. Now he has to do the exact pip count because he can yeah. reduce contact even further. Gammon is out of reach anyway, and I think since he ca surely counted the last time, he knows exactly where he is. And the fact that he's reducing contact uh, means for us that he's probably not doing badly in the race, uh, rather well. He still has one minute, 19 seconds left. So ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't pay uh, count. the, yeah. But maybe it's probably, so, maybe it's the last pip count you need, so you should, at some point, yeah. you should done so. <clears throat> so now it's really a rolling game, so any big tablet can decide it. I would... Play the four down because now white uh, can also clear with the uh, six five and non doublets. Still don't know exactly if white doesn't want to do that because I don't know the pip card. I, maybe white doesn't. So double fives for sure yeah. she does want to clear. So so now she white down two. Now it should be. 11 pips is, is good, so it's it's still a fairly close race. Six, two. Yeah, she's thinking about slotting, but I think this was the right play. Double threes is really good. Now we're in a super tight race, I would say. Okay, this is... Um, I think maybe she shouldn't, I mean, she should play, that was two deuces. Uh, if she has two deuces left, she certainly should, uh, shouldn't should take the checker off. I, I don't like that. 
Mm. I would have used uh, the aces to fill fill up my four point because she has she has how many checkers does she have? Eleven checkers behind the four point, so she is so likely to roll some fours before she uh, will be able to clear the six and the five. So I think that was a, was a mistake. But at least the two point was empty, so the fours at least go to the two. So the maybe two so maybe it's not 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 a, not a big deal. Just <clears throat> maybe maybe I'm wrong even. But I mean the four gap uh, looks really <laughs> pretty bad here. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway, double fours is a good number, despite not taking anything off. Oh. So. So now uh, certainly Marta is in command of this here. Uh, Oliver needs to roll something big. So quite a turnaround. I mean, uh, very uh, fourth and back this match. And right now uh, it seems that Marta has a better end, but we have seen many turnarounds in this match, which is always nice. For the commentators and probably also for the neutral watchers. Yeah, maybe three to two. I don't know. Not three, uh, to play. I would play six to five. Six to five. Uh, I don't see the great benefit of no, three no. to two. So yeah, I see some hearts flying. So yeah, if you. Uh, like the content, uh, please press the corresponding button. So yeah, uh, Jack, it's, it's, it's still not over, it's still not over. Yeah, still some fight left. Now we root for, for Oliver, of course, because we have to yeah, the yeah. game. Now I pretty much stopped rooting. We had so seen so much action. I just said they both deserve it, certainly. And but uh, now really down to something like double sixes. So um, the Norwegian flags are already flying. <laughs> uh, Anything can happen in Begem. Uh, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, it's never a mistake to take out a five. I think, or is there any situation? So, what I'm seeing is a double. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, so now it's now almost it's... chin after double five, double six is the other case as well. I don't know. He, he has. Uh, he should make up his mind quickly because otherwise he, he will lose the opportunity to do. Ah, oh, just a few seconds left. Sixteen, fifty. Okay, he, yeah. even more wanting to win to, to see a. To see uh, another game with yeah, it's time. possible. It's still possible. It's still possible. Yeah, double three, so higher. Uh, okay, so he is still double fours. So a small number followed by double fours. So still yep. a percent left. Seven bad numbers, I think. And then this is not one of them, one. and that's it. Yeah. Uh, Congrats, yeah. to Marta. great match. Congratulations for reaching the final. And just a great comeback after the break. Uh, she was down uh, seven away, five, uh, two away, I think. And yeah, great play oh, overall. Uh, exciting action. Also, congrats to Oliver. I think he played very well. Uh, but uh, certainly later on, we will see. So we see a big scalp. Uh, I mean, she's also like uh, <laughs> not uh, among the. I, I didn't feel she was a huge uh, underdog here. I mean, except for a couple of real bad cube decisions. I, I like. I only play. know that Oliver is a monster. I don't know Marta, so. Yeah, yeah. This okay. was just yeah, a guess because I know that Oliver is so super strong. Yeah. Yeah. So Norwegian crowd is happy. Uh, yeah, I think that was it uh, for us. When uh, is the next round? Uh, it's at four o'clock, but we have to check and. Uh, could be that that next stream will be in German. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, Rainer. Always a pleasure doing yes. the commentary with you. Same back to you. Always great fun and uh, I'm always happy to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then take care, guys. Bye bye. Okay.